That is insane. Have I ever filmed a video of me like packing Turkestan or Dubia roaches? I'm not quite sure but today's video is going to be just that. You guys know my Turkestan bin right? I haven't updated you guys. It has been like reproducing like crazy. My colony literally just exploded with Turkestan roaches. It's insane. So I gotta like find a way to get rid of them and so happened yesterday some guy contacted me and he was like he wants to buy some Turkestan roaches. So I was like yeah sure perfect timing for me to get rid of some of these. So yeah, today we're going to be packing a whole lot of these guys into this container over here. As you can see, this container, it's like full of cross ventilation holes. So basically what I did was I turned on the stove and I took like a wire, a whole metal wire thingy and just put it on the stove and just started stabbing holes. I think this whole container took me about five to six minutes to stab everything. There's some on the top and then I wanted to do fully at the bottom as well. But then I got too lazy. So I just did the sides and that's just good enough. Now, what we're going to be doing is putting a whole bunch of that. I'm not going to be counting. He actually asked for like 50 mix sizes, but I'm going to be like, nah, I'm just going to be generous today and just toss in like a whole bunch. But before that, we're going to have to set up this shipping medium before we put those in. And how we're going to be doing that is just basically putting some egg crates into here so that they will have like a lot more room like this. Because if you just put them in without any like mm, egg crates, they'll just probably die. So yeah, they'll all be clumped up together, be super damp because they do poop and pee so yeah once everything is all like mushy and stuff they will just die so yeah this will give them a lot of room and let's let's see how this goes and it's kind of obvious that this can't fit in here right so i'm gonna have to tear it up into pieces to put it in there i think that looks good basically i just cut like one third of this not cut i mean like like tear one third and just put them into this container over here so now what we're going to be doing is getting another container because i'm not going to be putting them like shaking it into this i'm going to be putting them into another container first and then pouring them into here so i've got this critter keeper over here sorry guys if i'm speaking like a little bit quiet and a little bit slowly it's because i'm in the house right now and there are still i mean my, my family's in the house so i don't want them to like um let's get some of the roaches into here we'll see how many we can get so we'll just put that over there and we'll get the first eight crate to just dump in let's see how this goes one two Man, yo, that's a lot of females down there. Lucky guy, he's gonna get a lot of females. We'll put probably two egg crate fulls. Yep, that'll be good. Yep, that's good. Oh, no worries about that. Oh man, check that out, you guys. That is insane, crazy with just two egg crates. And how many egg crates do we even have in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you imagine, you guys? Ten. I mean two, so I mean five times of these. That's insane. And usually they are more concentrated at the back. Like check that out. So yeah, now let's just put this in here and then pour this whole bunch of roaches. And if you're wondering what these are, these are actually um, pumpkin seeds. I feed them pumpkin because I just found out that pumpkin is like one of the best food sources. I'll explain that in another video. But then for now, let's just do this. Some will escape, no worries, but at least most of them are in. And more escaping, so we better give it a close quickly. There we go. Oh man. Okay. Gotta control this colony a little bit, you guys, because you don't want them to like overpopulate this place. You don't want them to explode too much. You wanna still control them. And also because I don't have like an extra big enclosure like for my dubia roaches. So Turkestan roaches, yeah. Gonna have to get rid of them somehow. I'll probably like post a lot up for sale in the near future. But yeah, there we go. Oh man, guys, check this out. That is pretty darn insane. That's a lot. I did not like earn a lot of money from this. I think I probably sold all of these for about three dollars. Three dollars, yeah, it's not much but I mean it's still better than nothing because my colony I still have to like control it so three dollars I mean I mean <laughs> what is there to lose right if they explode to like crazy amount and I can't handle them I'll still have to euthanize like like kill all of them I mean not all of them like a huge percentage of them so why not just sell like three dollars I can go and get like a cheeseburger or something <laughs> now let's get this into that box and get it shipped out to this guy I actually thought of like putting this bubble wrap in but then I think nah better not because I'm scared that it 
will block all the ventilation holes and then they'll die. I think I'll just use newspaper. Out of the way, man. Out of the way. All right, guys. So we're back in the animal room and uh, let's pack this over here. Now, um, there's really like fragile stickers all around, but it's not fragile stickers. I mean, it's like already printed on. But yeah, I mean, you guys remember when we unboxed Turkestan roaches, right? Yeah, that bin over there was from that whole bunch of Turkestan roaches. Look at how much they have grown over the past few months. And well, it is time for me to return the favor. I mean, not to that guy, but return the favor and like ship out Turkestan roaches. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> from receiving to sending out. So yeah, let's get newspaper into this container. What I'm gonna be doing is opening it in the back and then wrapping this thing in the newspaper so it'll be secure. And also I didn't mention yet that I did like tape over here with masking tape because you never know. What if the lid just pops out in here and the postman is like carrying a package and the cockroaches are escaping because there is like a hole over here and can you imagine? I mean that could be their breathing hole. Not not breathing, I mean like breathing, breathing, breathing. <laughs> so yeah, um there's a breathing hole over here for them to like breathe, I guess. I mean I mean what what else a breathing hole for? Okay, so so yeah, let's wrap this and we'll put it in there. And this container is a perfect fit for this box. Wait, let me just put one more at the bottom to give it more padding, I would say. Yeah, okay, that's good. And then now we'll just pop this in. Look at that, you guys. Perfect fit. Awesome. Yeah, and then now we're gonna have to put like maybe one or two more on the top. All we gotta do next is, well, of course, tape this up because we gotta ship it. And don't worry guys, we don't need all those heat uh, packs and cold packs over here because the temperature here is like just nice for Turkestan roaches, our room temperature. So yeah, just good. So perfect. Now we're gonna have to tape it up and ship it over to the guy. So guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, it's sort of like an update. I mean, this packing trench locks, but you guys got to see like sort of an update on my Turkestan roach bin and you saw right it's like a lot of Turkestan roaches now so I'm gonna have to get rid of them so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you in the next one peace and as always have a good one wait no I'm supposed to go like have a good one and then peace but we whatever there we go guys got it all packed up got the fragile wordings over here and yeah we're good to go hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you in the next video